<clears throat> Welcome back. My name is Jim Caseman, and we're talking about getting to know God intimately. We left off last time talking about the fact that man could not save himself. He was completely powerless. He was a child of the devils. And we saw in 1 John 3 that there were the children of the devil and the children of God. And of course, as children of the devil, we were all slaves to Satan and the demons and evil spirits. We had no power to redeem ourselves. We were dead spiritually. And so then, there was another point too. Some people say, well, why couldn't God uh, just have destroyed the devil? You know, just, just went ahead and eliminated him right away when he rebelled in heaven. There was a war that broke out in heaven. Who knows when that happened? <clears throat> Probably long before this physical dimension was created. And, um, and God had to deal with Satan legally. Now, <clears throat> we have to understand that heaven is not just, uh, I don't know about you, but I guess when I got saved, I, I uh, thought of heaven as the city four square, as was described in, in, in Revelation, in chapter what. And, uh, and so, I... Um, and that's what I thought. And you know, it was like it was just this city up there. That was heaven. Well, come to find out, as I've been reading the scriptures and, and, and throughout the years and what have you, come to realize that heaven is huge. You know, there are three heavens that the scriptures talks about. There's the heaven that surrounds this earth. And then there's the heaven that surrounds the physical universe. And then there's a heaven of heavens. Now that's plural. So there's more than one heaven, obviously. And there's the heaven of heavens. And uh, for example, you know, I come back here to Second Chronicles and pick it up in chap chapter two and in verse six. But he who is able to build him a temple since heaven and the heaven of heavens, plural, cannot contain him? Well, then, as long as I'm back here, I suppose I can back up to 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 27. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the heaven of heavens, plural, cannot contain you. How much less this temple which we have built and so heaven is huge now we get a little bit idea of it when i said there's a heaven that surrounds the physical universe now in this physical dimension we have what's called a hubble scope which is out there orbiting the earth and with that we're able to see out into the physical universe. Now, the last time I read one, and this is some years ago, with the Hubble scope, we could see 34 billion, that's B, like billion, bravo, like billion, 34 billion light years out. Now, a light year is as fast as light travels in one second. And it's, it's approximately... Well, it's about 186,000 miles. I don't remember exactly, but 186,000 miles a second. That's how fast light travels. So as far as light can travel in a year, that would be a light year. And we can see 34 billion light years out. Now some, you know, when I first got saved in the 70s, people were saying, well, the universe is still expanding. No, I don't think that's true now. What is true is we can only see 34 billion light years out. We haven't seen the entire universe. Now there is a spiritual atmosphere around the physical universe, the second heaven, that engulfs this entire physical universe. So that gives you a little bit idea. There's the physical universe, 
and then there's this spiritual dimension that in that encircles this whole physical universe and of course that's heaven it's a huge territory and so we're beginning to see that in the book of hebrews it says that there were innumerable angels created you can't even count them that's how many were created well you can see why now with heaven as big as it is that's a huge territory now apparently there was a uh, three archangels in this that this territory was divided up to into thirds and so satan then rebelled against god and he took about the one third of his angels with him i suppose the angels that were assigned to him and they all rebelled against God. Well, then what Satan had, he had one third of innumerable angels. That's a lot of angels to cover the territory that he had in heaven. Wow. So uh, Satan then actually broke away from God and created his own nation if you will it's kind of like in this physical dimension see nothing's original it's already happened in the heaven in, in the spiritual realm so in the spiritual realm we had a a a nation that was split heaven ended up being split the territory of heaven and so nation then uh, satan rather evil dictator rebelled from god he's a spiritual criminal but he has a separate nation that he now is the head of. Now that would be like in this physical dimension. You'll have a certain country, you have a civil war, the nation is split. Now you have two countries or two nations. One of them may be headed up with a, with a, with a godly ruler and the other half of it headed up with an evil dictator. But yet he has a right, I mean, it's his nation, He's evil. He's got his people there. And basically in this natural realm, nothing is done about it unless it really gets bad. And of course, he's really uh, uh, negligent of, um, you know, just of how he treats his people and everything else. And then, of course, nowadays you have the United Nations and they might decide, well, you know, I think it's time that we need to remove this dictator. He is just altogether too evil, tormenting people or whatever it might be. Well, that is, uh, uh, but God then, he has to treat Satan legally. He just can't up and throw him out. It's got to be done legally. Well, I uh, beginning to believe that I, th I, you know, I don't have any scripture for it. But when I look at the big picture, God and his patience. He already had, now you're going, coming back to mankind now. All of man has sinned. And you could say, well, why couldn't just God, you know, kick out the devil and, and what have you and get rid of him and, and let it all be over with and we could all go to heaven. Well, he's got to do this whole process legally. Now first, God, now, now think, God cannot, pay the penalty of sin for man as God. God just in cold, oh, I said, God says, well, I'm just going to go as God. I'm going to pay the penalty for mankind and it'll all be over with. He can't do that because that would be illegal because God did not sin. Man sinned, not God. So God was going to have to uh, uh, figure out another way for man to be redeemed because he can't do it as God. Well, he figured out another way. <laughs> Before the beginning of time, God purposed in his heart that he take on the form of a human being literally in every respect. And of course, we'll look that up here as soon as we get back in the next session. I'll give you the scriptures for it. And meanwhile, our time is up again. It goes so fast. Be blessed until we meet again. Amen.